In this video, we'll share the top 25 things to do in South Dakota. At number one, we have Mount Rushmore National Memorial. This iconic monument is a testament to the ingenuity and determination of human creativity. Carved into the granite face of Mount Rushmore are the 60-foot heads of Presidents George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, Theodore Roosevelt, and Abraham Lincoln. The grandeur and scale of the monument, set against the natural beauty of the Black Hills, is a sight to behold. At number two, we have Custer State Park. This expansive state park is a haven for wildlife enthusiasts and outdoor adventurers. With over 71,000 acres of terrain that includes rolling plains, rugged hills, and serene lakes, visitors can enjoy hiking, biking, and horseback riding. The park is also home to a diverse range of wildlife, including bison, pronghorns, mountain goats, and a variety of bird species. At number three, we have Bear Country, USA. This drive through wildlife park offers a unique opportunity to observe North American mammals in their natural environment. From the comfort of your vehicle, you can watch as black bears, wolves, elk, and other animals roam freely in large enclosures that mimic their natural habitats. At number four, we have Falls Park. Located in the heart of Sioux Falls, this urban park is centered around the city's namesake waterfalls on the Big Sioux River. The park covers 123 acres and features a viewing tower an old mill, a cafe, and a visitor center. The falls themselves are a beautiful sight, especially in the spring when the water flow is at its highest. At number five, we have Sylvan Lake. Known as the crown jewel of Custer State Park, Sylvan Lake offers breathtaking views and a variety of recreational activities. Visitors can enjoy hiking around the lake, fishing for trout, or renting a paddle boat or canoe to explore the lake's hidden coves. The lake is also a popular spot for rock climbing due to the surrounding granite cliffs. At number six, we have Wildlife Loop Road. This 18-mile scenic drive through Custer State Park offers visitors the chance to see the park's wildlife up close. As you drive along the road, keep an eye out for herds of bison, pronghorn antelope, white-tailed deer, and bands of burrows. At number seven, we have Reptile Gardens. This unique attraction is home to a diverse collection of reptiles from around the world. Visitors can see everything from giant tortoises and venomous snakes to exotic birds and beautiful botanical gardens. The park also offers live shows, including snake handling demonstrations and bird shows. At number eight, we have Loop Road. This scenic drive in the Badlands National Park offers stunning views of the park's unique geological formations. The road winds through rugged terrain, passing by colorful rock formations, deep canyons, and rolling prairies. There are numerous overlooks along the way where visitors can stop to take photos and enjoy the view. At number nine, we have Iron Mountain Road. This winding road is known for its scenic views, narrow tunnels, and pigtail bridges. As you drive along the road, you'll be treated to stunning views of Mount Rushmore, the Black Hills, and the surrounding landscape. The road also passes through Custer State Park, offering additional opportunities for wildlife viewing and outdoor recreation. At number 10, we have Needles Eye. This geological formation is one of the highlights of the Needles Highway in Custer State Park. The eye is a small tunnel eroded in a granite spire, and the highway itself winds through a landscape of towering granite pinnacles and spires. The area is also popular for rock climbing and hiking. At number 11, we have the Mammoth Site of Hot Springs. This active paleontological dig site is home to the largest concentration of mammoth remains in the world. Visitors can tour the site and see the bones of these ancient creatures still embedded in the earth. The site also features a museum with exhibits on Ice Age fauna, geology, and paleontology. At number 12, we have Needles Highway. This scenic highway winds its way through the granite spires and pine-covered hills of the Black Hills. The road is known for its narrow tunnels, sharp turns, and low bridges, which add to the adventure of the drive. Along the way, there are numerous pullouts where you can stop to take photos and enjoy the view. At number 13, we have Rushmore Tramway Adventures. This outdoor adventure park offers a variety of activities for all ages. You can ride the scenic chairlift to the top of the mountain, where you'll be treated to a stunning view of Mount Rushmore. The park also features a zip line, an alpine slide, and a maze. At number 14, we have Crazy Horse Memorial. This massive mountain carving in progress is dedicated to the Oglala Lakota warrior, Crazy Horse. The completed sculpture will depict Crazy Horse riding a horse and pointing into the distance. 
The site also includes the Indian Museum of North America and the Native American Educational and Cultural Center. At number 15, we have Badlands National Park. This national park is known for its striking geological formations, including layered rock formations, deep canyons, and towering spires. The park is also home to a variety of wildlife, including bison, pronghorn, bighorn sheep, and prairie dogs. There are numerous hiking trails and overlooks where visitors can enjoy the park's unique landscape. At number 16, we have Presidential Trail. This trail at Mount Rushmore National Memorial offers a close-up view of the famous monument. The trail winds its way through the forest and offers various vantage points for viewing the president's faces. Along the way, there are informative plaques about the monument and the presidents it depicts. At number 17, we have Spearfish Canyon. This beautiful canyon in the northern Black Hills is known for its stunning natural beauty. The canyon features towering limestone cliffs, cascading waterfalls, and a variety of wildlife. The Spearfish Canyon Scenic Byway winds its way through the canyon, offering stunning views of the surrounding landscape. At number 18, we have Downtown Rapid City. This vibrant downtown area is known for its historic buildings, unique shops, and diverse dining options. One of the highlights of Downtown Rapid City is the City of Presidents, a series of life-size bronze statues of our nation's past presidents on the city's street corners. At number 19, we have Big Thunder Gold Mine. This historic gold mine offers guided tours that take visitors underground to learn about the gold mining process and the history of the Black Hills Gold Rush. The mine also offers gold panning, where visitors can try their hand at finding their own gold. At number 20, we have Mount Moriah Cemetery. This historic cemetery in Deadwood is the final resting place of several famous figures from the Old West, including Wild Bill Hickok and Calamity Jane. The cemetery is located on a hill overlooking Deadwood, offering a panoramic view of the city and the surrounding Black Hills. At number 21, we have Black Hills National Forest. This expansive forest covers over 1.2 million acres and offers a variety of recreational activities, including hiking, camping, fishing, and wildlife viewing. The forest is home to a diverse range of wildlife and features a variety of landscapes, including rugged rock formations, rolling hills, and serene lakes. At number 22, we have Badlands Wall. This massive wall of rugged rock formations is one of the highlights of Badlands National Park. The wall stretches for about 60 miles and features a variety of colors and shapes, making it a popular spot for photography. At number 23, we have Jewel Cave National Monument. This national monument is home to the third longest cave in the world. Visitors can take a guided tour of the cave and see its stunning formations, including stalactites, stalagmites, and flowstones. The monument also features a variety of hiking trails on the surface. At number 24, we have Spearfish Canyon Scenic Byway. This scenic byway winds its way through Spearfish Canyon, offering stunning views of the canyon's limestone cliffs, cascading waterfalls, and colorful foliage. There are numerous pullouts along the way where you can stop to take photos and enjoy the view. At number 25, we have Storybook Island. This family-friendly amusement park in Rapid City features a variety of attractions based on popular children's stories and characters. The park includes play areas, a carousel, a train ride, and a variety of interactive displays. So that sums up my top 25 things to do in South Dakota. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like on the video, and if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Until next time, have a great day.